In this video, we're going to troubleshoot a Fitbit watch that is no longer connecting to the Wi-Fi. And we're going to start with the most easiest and then we'll work our way down. So the, the very most common problem that you may not realize is if you don't have the Fitbit charged properly. So if it's below 25%, a lot of times just as an energy saving uh, tool, they'll disconnect the Wi-Fi uh, automatically. So make sure that you charge your Fitbit at least to 50% and then tell me if the Wi-Fi will start connecting with your watch. The next thing I want you to do is check your router and make sure you can connect another device on the router like a smartphone or a laptop or something. And if you can't, then you know, hey, it's probably not your watch. It's probably the router is not working. It's disconnected. There's service that's out, you know, in town or whatever. So what you can do is if it, the Wi-Fi is working with another device, I want you to reset the router and then actually unplug it for the wall for like about 10 minutes, plug it back in, and then see if my watch will start connecting with the router. Now, if you've tried that, what I want you to do is just restart it. And that solves probably 60 to 70 percent of the problems is just restarting it. And I'll show you how to restart the Fitbit watch here. So to restart a Sense Ionic or Versa, the only thing you have to do is just hold down the power button for 10 seconds. And you keep holding. You keep holding. And that will eventually restart it. For the Charge 5 in Luke's, you're going to swipe down on the clock to where you can get to the settings icon. You click settings, restart device, and then restart. For the Charge for the charge 3 and 4, you're going to hit the settings app, which is like three little circles on the device, and tap about, and then tap reboot device. For the Inspire series, Ace 2 and Ace 3, you want to make sure you have it connected to a USB or to the wall charger, have it plugged in, and then what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the button or buttons on the tracker for five seconds. And then what's going to happen is it's going to vibrate and that will restart it. And then for the Ace and Alta series, you just connect it to the power cord and then what you're going to do, the button on the charging cable, you want to tap three times. One, two, three. And then that should restart those series Fitbits. If you've tried all that and it still doesn't work, I want you to go to your Fitbit app on your phone and then I want you to go to the Wi-Fi networks and see if that if the Wi-Fi is showing now on your phone. If not, move the phone and the Fitbit watch closer to your router and see if you're able to get connected to the Wi-Fi. Next on your Fitbit app on your phone, I want you to go on your phone, go to settings which is the little gear shift, Go to Bluetooth, find your watch on the Bluetooth on your app, and I want you to hold it down, and then I want you to forget the device. Then go back on the app and see if you can add it back to the Wi-Fi. Now the last resort is to do a full factory restore reset on your watch, and that will delete all your personal information, but a lot of times that will solve the problem. So what you're going to do when you're from the home screen, you're going to swipe to your left, and you'll continue swiping until you see the little gear shift icon which is the uh, settings so we'll go ahead and hit settings and then from there you want to scroll down until you get all the way down until you get to the about section and so we can see here about so what you want to do is hit about and then you're going to keep scrolling down and right here, you'll see where it says Factory Reset. Go ahead and hit that. And it says Reset This Fitbit. And it, sh and it basically confirms that you want to reset it. Again, that's going to wipe out all, that's going to wipe out all your information and make it like it was out of the box. All right, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe and put in the comments section which method worked for you. All right, thanks again.